So I've not made a video for a long, long time. I've not had any games to play, I've not had anything that's interested me at the moment, but we've got Modern Warfare 2 coming out, Warzone 2 coming out. And do you know what the biggest problem for me is? And it's an ongoing problem. Skill-based matchmaking? No, it's going to be there. That is something we're going to have to get used to. The biggest problem for me is cheaters. They're always going to be in the game, regardless what the game is. But Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is going to have a massive issue. Not just because there's cheaters in the game, it's because Activision is letting this happen. There is a whitelist. I don't care what anyone says, there is a whitelist. You've got the one that's been exposed the most at the moment, Nadia. Is that girl cheating? Be it soft aim, be it VPM, be it lower body aim. Yes, she's cheating and she's getting away with it. Why? Because their um, Activision, she creates an environment where she is popular at the moment and because she's been exposed for cheating that this gets people interested in the game zelena is he cheating yes i don't care what anyone says that boy is cheating there's a lot of people. symphony there's another one who's cheating and constantly get away gets away with it because it, it, it creates interest for activision and the game tim the Tapman. He gets right on my nerves. Is he cheating? Probably not using a piece of software, probably not using an aimbot or wall hacks, but when you watch videos of Tin the Tap Man and he's blatantly putting them out there that he gets his simps and people who are on his streams that are bringing him stuff, you know, via the helicopters, bringing him money, letting him have the helicopters, giving him free kills. Is that cheating? Yes, it's cheating. And the big biggest problem for me is not the actual cheating itself it's the fact that activision are letting these people get in it, get away with it there's people like myself i'm very mediocre at the game but i play the game originally a battlefield player but obviously without going too much into it we know what's happened to act um uh, battlefield in the last few iterations of the game it's been absolutely shite so I've gone back to playing Call of Duty. Do I enjoy it? Yes, I do enjoy it. Is this game fundamentally going to be a decent game? Modern Warfare 2, I think, fundamentally, it is going to be a good game. Is it going to be spoiled for the likes of me, for the likes of you, the normal people that are playing this game? Well, yes, it's going to be a, a, a disaster, not because of skill-based matchmaking. That's not going to help. It's because of cheaters, and it's because they are getting away with it, because they create revenue for Activision. They will come and they will say they are doing ban waves. They will say we are getting rid of cheaters. Yes, you are selecting the cheaters that you are getting, letting get away with this. It's ones who do not create interest in the game. It's ones that do not create revenue for Activision. The likes of Nadia, Zelena, Symphony, Tim the Tap Man, and I don't care how big you are. I don't care how, you know, popular these people are. I'm a small content creator. They are massive. I do not care. I'm going to say it as it is. And you know, one of my subscribers, um, Silver, he said to me, the last thing that they come to my streams for is the gameplay. Because in effect, I am shit at the game. They come for the content that we create, the small community that we have. They come for that, not for the gameplay. They come for the laugh. But when people actually go to streamers for the actual gameplay of the aforementioned streamers that I have mentioned, they actually do come for the gameplay. But it is false. They are cheating regardless, like I say, if it's due to a piece of software, if it's due to VPNs, or if it's due to the fact that they are on a whitelist and they are getting away with it. The biggest problem with Modern World 
Warfare or the pr biggest problem that's going to be with Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is the cheaters and not just the fact that they are cheating because they are being let to get away with the fact they are cheating because they are creating interest and revenue for the game. I pay money for the game, you out there pay money for the game, is it spoiling it for us? Yes, but once you've paid, you know, the, uh, for this game and you've pay, played a few hours and you have, you know, had your um, interaction on the game, you're not going to be able to refund that, be, you know, and therefore then they have got the money. The people who are buying this game because they enjoy playing video games. And it's been spoiled because Activision, and yes, I do not give a shit of what I'm saying because it's Activision letting them actively get away with it. Once these people are not creating the revenue and not creating the interest in the game, Activision will then ban them because if it wasn't the case of what I've just said, then Symphony would not be playing the game. Nadia would not be playing the game. Tim the Tapman would not be playing the game. Um, Zelena and many, many more would not be playing the game. For me, who pays this, mo pays this money for these games and just wants to have a good experience on these games, it's an absolute disgrace. And also, you're getting people like um, Call of Shame, BBB, that are getting blocked and banned from social media, from these companies who make this game because they are calling the cheaters out. Why would that happen? Because in effect, these people are trying to help Activision weed out these cheaters. They do it and block them because they don't want people to see this. Because there has got to be some whitelist for cheaters that Activision are letting these people get away with this. That's all I want to say. That's all I have really to comment on this. It's my opinion and I'm sure it's an opinion of a lot of people out there. Are Activision, in my eyes, in my opinion, letting certain cheaters get away with playing this game and cheating in this game? Yes, I think they are. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon and tick it so you get notifications of when we are uploading new videos. And this is Mr. Devlin back and out.